Hello all you fine people out there in YouTube land. This is uh, <coughs> going to be the first video I've done in a while for the Down Home Hunters channel, but I haven't really had an opportunity to do much hunting since I've been back. It's been kind of sorry, but I've got two Christmas presents that are going to change that and a kitty kitty that's trying to get in the video. Say hello Trigger, say hello to all the fine people in YouTube. Uh, the first one is this Wild Game Innovations uh, six and a half gallon photo cell hanging feeder kit. Uh, I've got an idea where I'm gonna put it, but <clears throat> it's gonna take a while to get it out there because it's got a lot of uh, other improvements to that property that need to be done. Uh, it's rated to, to hold about 50 pounds of feed, which I've got a feed mixture that I'm gonna use and uh, I'll share that with y'all in a later video, a much later video after the improvements of that property have been made. It uh, has a photo cell timer and uh, you see there it says some assembly required. Yes, yeah, pretty much complete assembly required. Uh, as you can see by the packaging, real tree camo and uh, takes a regular old uh, 6 volt battery for the motor. This was my second smallest present. Get down. Get down. It's upside down, but that was my big present. 225 pound Wild Game Innovations feeder with a regular uh, actual time timer. Uh, analog timer with up to 24 feed times. It's got a durable uh, plastic three-part uh, body that actually holds the feed. Uh, the lid has a lock and latch, which that one does, and I'm going to have to get like some uh, bungee cords or something or other to keep that secure. Uh, comes with the motor, comes with everything except the battery. And this one is a little bit easier to assemble than... Uh, the hanging feeder, I'm going to need to get a drill to uh, drill holes in the bottom to mount the motor to it. But I'm working on finding a place to put this one. Um, like I said, those are going to be videos that will come at a later time. And uh, I'm probably going to be doing a video blog kind of deal about getting my uh, properties improved for the hunting that was my big present my second smallest present and I got one more at uh, real cool it looks like a siren but it's not a siren it is a bullhorn for a PA system now this is a very well kept secret of mine but I happen to be just a slight CB radio fanatic. I've got a Cobra 29 CB radio in my truck that's been peaked and tuned and has more modifications to come. Uh, but this is my favorite Christmas present that I got. And uh, I'll give you all a little demonstration here in a second. Forgive the mess. This is my radio. Now to work that uh, PA system, what you do, first of all, you turn it on. This is my dynamic for my uh, radio. This controls the volume of the, uh, the, uh, the PA, but first I've got to set it to PA. And with this, I control the volume.